The holiday shopping season is upon us, and experts say that means cyber criminals are out in full force. Rena Roy has tips on how you can keep your money safe while you buy gifts online this year. Tis the season for holiday shopping, and that means it's important to stay vigilant online. We are in such a rush to get the right gifts, to get the right deal, to do what we think we need to do during this season to make it pleasant for ourselves and our family and our loved ones. I caution all to be very cautious before we engage, before we provide our financial data. As millions of Americans check off their gift lists, experts warn cybercrime is on the rise. We recently did a survey with Ipsos and what we found were about 30% of individuals in America have been victims of some sort of cybercrime. Tammy Hudson, a cybersecurity client officer for Wells Fargo, says artificial intelligence has made some scams more sophisticated and tougher to spot. Red actors using artificial intelligence and specifically bots to gain user credentials, steal assets and get other information that users more common than not put out on social media, various social platforms, and the threat actors use that to build a profile in order to more easily guess what those credentials may be. But there are things you can do to keep your money safe. Hudson says keep the security software on your devices up to date, change your passwords regularly, avoid using public Wi-Fi, and double check the link and name of the website you're on. Make sure that that URL, which are the letters within that website address, has HTTPS instead of just HTTP. The S on the end of that website indicates that it is secure. You should also avoid saving your personal and financial information on a site. Instead, Hudson recommends typing it in each time you make a purchase. And the safest method of payment? Credit card. When you are using a credit card, there is a certain amount of historical information that is attached to that credit card. Typically, threat actors don't like to engage with the use of credit card because of that tracking. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. And if you do find yourself falling victim of cybercrime, first and foremost, reach out to your bank and the Federal Trade Commission, which offers guidance on how to handle these situations.